I have indeed traveled extensively. There'd be many sights that took away my breath. My first glimpse of Jerusalem as we arrived from a man in Jordan on the Jericho Road. The view from Victoria Peak over Hong Kong. The sight over Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas in Peru. In these instances, arriving the back way, so to speak, and suddenly being confronted with a spectacular sight. Here we had slowly ascended, taking in the view, but I was still unprepared as I walked out at the summit to see the rock itself in situ, like a diamond in a beautiful setting. Both Nate and I had been looking forward to this. We'd heard so much about it, the Britishness, phone booths, post boxes, fish and chips, the airport running through it. But being confronted by the view at the summit was special. And then there's the monkeys. Yes, they are monkeys, not apes. You either love them or hate them. My old friend Samuel used to say, the only reason why God created men is because he was disappointed with the monkeys. Not this one though. Up here there are six troops totaling around 150, Europe's only wild primates, if we discount Manchester on a Saturday night, that is. They are Barbary macaques, apparently introduced by the Moors, the Muslim invaders from North Africa. There's a legend that so long as the monkeys live on the rock, the British will have control. It goes back to the 18th century when France and Spain fought for four years to take Gibraltar from the British. And on one occasion, the British were alerted to an attack by the monkeys who created a great commotion. Thus, they saved Gibraltar from a fate worse than death. European rule. I was hoping to see a plane either land or take off, but as there are fewer than 20 flights a day, it was unlikely. Africa in the distance, only 13 miles away. But it's a little misty today. When we look north, Spain is beyond the runway. The monkeys are wild, so one has to be vigilant. They're quite a comical lot. This one practicing omphaloskepsis, the habit of contemplating one's navel in order to experience celestial joy. He's obviously not there yet. Meanwhile, down below, there's a jet ski race. We continued to explore a little, but time was short. There are actually 34 miles of tunnels in the rock, more than double the length of its entire road network below. The purpose was both defense 
and attack. It is possible to walk up, and many do that, Then there's the other alternative, lying on the beach. The skywalk is the glass-bottomed walkway, which sufferers from acrophobia may find distressing. Unusual aspects. then back down to Earth. The thing I love about travel is that I can film it. I was once told that I only get to see a place through the lens of my camera. Well, I can relive it any time I want. And not only that, but millions, yes, I mean millions, are coming with me and enjoying it too. And suddenly, Thanks to the internet, it's immortal, maybe eternal. People will watch this a hundred years from now and say, look at those funny cars, look at those strange clothes, how the world has changed. Next time, we're back down in Gibraltar. Enjoying a snack. Seen some of the historical places and cars. And getting a last glimpse.